Hello guys, welcome on Tesla Adventures. In this video, we'll discuss the relationship between Young's modulus, bulk modulus and Poisson's ratio. So this is gamma which is Young's modulus, this is bulk modulus and this is Poisson's ratio. So let us assume that there is a cube of side A by A by A and we are applying a equal force F on each of its face perpendicular to the face. And therefore, we can write down the stress uh, and we can denote the stress by P and stress is F upon A square. Now, <clears throat> now we know that Poisson's ratio is equal to lateral strain upon longitudinal strain. We have already discussed in the previous video. Now, we can also write down that lateral strain <clears throat> is equal to Poisson's ratio into longitudinal strain. <clears throat> okay. <coughs> now we can see that longitudinal strain delta L by L is equal to stress P upon Young's modulus. Okay, so this is longitudinal strain. And you should imagine that if we are taking x axis as the longitudinal direction along the length and we are applying a force F on the area A square, so F upon A square is P, this is stress, and Young's modulus is gamma. So the change in length upon original length in this direction would be stress upon Young's modulus. But you should imagine that if we are applying this force in Y and Z also, then if we consider the Y direction, then uh, this force will expand this cube in Y direction. And due to the expansion of cube in Y direction, a lateral strain would also be produced in X direction. And if you are, uh, you can imagine that if this cube is expanding in y direction, then it would be contracting in x direction due to lateral strain. So we can uh, also include this contraction in this term. Uh, so there would be the net expansion, the net delta L would be uh, the ex longitudinal expansion due to this force along x. But we have to minus the longitudinal uh, lateral compression because uh, in y direction if we are applying the force then this is expanding along the y but it is contracting along x so we have to minus the lateral strain in x direction and we have to minus <coughs> or we can write down due to y force f y and we have to minus the lateral strain due to Z force, Fz. So lateral strain is equal to sigma, which is the Poisson's ratio, into longitudinal strain. And longitudinal strain is again P upon gamma. And similarly, we can write for the y direction that it is sigma P upon gamma. So this is delta L by L. So delta L by L is equal to, we can take P upon gamma as common, and this is 1 minus 2 sigma. Now we know that uh, bulk modulus is equal to stress upon strain, delta V by V. And V is equal to A cube. So delta V by V is equal to 3 delta A by A. This we have, we can uh, find out this expression by differentiating. Let me find out for you that by differentiating it is dv is equal to 3a square into dA. And dividing both sides uh, with a cube, so dv by v, because v is equal to a cube, is equal to 3dA by a. You can imagine that. So we can substitute the value of dv by v. 
सो बल्क मॉडलस इज इक्वल टू पी अपॉन डी वी बाई वी विच इज थ्री डी ए बाय एंड हेयर ए इज इक्वल टू एल सो वी कैन राइट डाउन दैट डी ए बाय ए विच इज डी एल बाय एल इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू पी बाय थ्री बीटा एंड यू कैन सब्सटीट्यूट दिस वैल्यू हेयर सो लेट एस सब्सटीट्यूट दिस वैल्यू हेयर दैट दिस इज पी अपॉन थ्री बीटा इज इक्वल टू पी अपॉन गामा एंड इन टू वन माइनस टू सिगमा सो कैंसिलिंग दिस पी विथ पी सो गामा इज इक्वल टू थ्री बीटा इन टू वन माइनस टू सिगमा दिस इज द फाइनल रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन यंग्स मॉडलस बल्क मॉडलस एंड पॉइजन्स रेशियो दिस इज वन ओके सो इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग द डेरिवेशन ऑफ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन यंग्स मॉडलस पॉइजन्स रेशियो एंड मॉडलस ऑफ रेजिडिटी थैंक यू